my special agents Mrs G back again with some more reasoning practice. This week we're going to take a look at some multiplication and division based questions. Remember this is for special agents only. Don't share these tips with everyone. Okay, in the reasoning paper we have to read maths questions which cover all areas of maths we've learned about in year two, which is why for now these videos are broken down into separate skills. I will be making mixed videos very, very soon. There are always some children's names in videos and there are pictures to accompany the names. So Amy and AJ, that's the boy and the girl, and then you may see some other name words, Sam, Ben, Sita and Kemi. This is to help remind yourself that they're not maths words, they're people's names. Names. Okay, so the first few questions, there will be a picture and some answer choices and a grown-up will say the question to you. Here is a bottle. How much water does the bottle hold? Circle the right measurement. So you've got to read the measurements and decide which is the right measurement for water or liquid. Two centimetres, two kilograms, two degrees or two litres. Can you remember what we measure water or liquid in? How much water does the bottle hold? And the answer is two litres. And we always say in class, litres and liquids to help us remember, don't we? Well done. Okay, fantastic. Right, let's get straight into multiplication and division. Sometimes they will ask you something to use facts that you already know. Something times 10 is 50. 10 times what is 50? Let's count in tens until we get the answer. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 5 times 10 is 50. Fantastic if you got that one right. Well done. Oh, the tick was very impressed with you then. Now, often they try and put multiplication or division questions into a word problem to make it trickier than it needs to be. Here's my advice. Read the whole thing through. Then let's look at the numbers and the most important information we've got in this question. A classroom has six tables. Each table has five children sitting at it. Complete the number sentence to show how many children there are altogether. Something times something equals something children. So in a word problem, you need to pay attention to the numbers in the sum. We've got six and we've got five. And we've got the math calculation sign, multiply, or lots of. So six tables, six lots of five children. So if we go ahead and put six in the first box and five in the second box, six lots of five children, or six multiplied by five, we can put six fingers up and count in fives to work out how many children there are altogether. Are you ready? Six fingers up, five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30. Groups of, okay, well done guys, fantastic. Okay, Abby has two plot pots. She plants seven seeds in each pot. Seven, add seven, or seven times two, or double seven. How many seeds does she plant all together? So you could draw seven dots on each pot, or you could use what you know about multiplication to realise this is 7 2 times 7 multiplied by 2 or double 7 7 fingers up and counting 2's let's go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 well done guys there would be 14 seeds all together fantastic Sita puts 10 balls in each bag how many balls are there in the, in the bags all together? So we've got to look that it tells us there are 10 balls in each bag. So we are counting in tens every time we cross a bag out. This is the 10 times table. Let's count in tens and cross each bag out as we count so we know we've used them. And let's count and see how far we get up to in multiples of 10. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There are 100 balls altogether. Well done, fantastic special agents. Okay, number one, match each egg box to the correct multiplication. One has been done for you. So on one side we've got some rows of eggs. We've got some what we call arrays in multiplication. Rows 
and columns to show multiplication sums. So, and then on the other side, we've got the sums six times two, five times two, three, sorry, three times two, and five times two. They've joined the top row, which has one, two, three eggs in one row and two rows of three eggs to three times two. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. We've got one, two, three, four, five eggs in one row. How many rows of eggs have we got? We've got one, two. We've got five lots of two. Can you see which calculation that matches up to? Five lots of two. There it is. So we will draw a line from that picture to five times two. Well done. Let's go underneath now. Let's start by checking how many we've got in one row of eggs. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now there is only one calculation with six in it, but a good special agent always double checks. Let's check how many rows of six eggs we've got. We've got two lines of six eggs, so we've got six lots of two. Can you see where that matches up to? There we go. That is showing six times two. Now the bottom one, we've got five times three left. So let's just check if that makes sense. Let's see how many eggs are in one row. One, two, three, four, five eggs. How many rows of five eggs have we got? We've got one row, two row, three rows. Five times three, or five lots of three. And you would have to join the pictures, every picture up to every calculation to get the mark. Well done, year two, fantastic. Okay, 19, 5, 48. Use all these numbers to make a different number sentence each time. One has been done for you. So we're only allowed to use the numbers 5, 40 and 8. 5 times 8 is 40. Now, the multiply sign is like the add sign. We always get a bigger number at the end. So we can use what we already know. We can use the number fact family's house for multiplication and division. So these are the numbers 40, 8 and 5. They live together. They are connected. So when we multiply, we multiply the downstairs numbers and we get the biggest number. So 40 will go at the end of any multiplication sum. Now they've done 5 times 8 is 40. We can just go the other way and do 8 times 5. We can move those numbers around. Now, divide is like subtract. They both have a straight line in the middle, chopping the number down and making it smaller. Divide is the opposite to multiply. So the biggest number goes to at the beginning of the sum. We can only share from a big number. So the biggest number out of 5, 40 and 8 is 40. And then we can just choose one of the other numbers to put next. So let's put the 8 there. We've used the 40, we've used the 8. So 40 divided by 8 must be 5. And we only have to use the numbers that are in the question. Well done. Okay, here is an array. Look at these dots. This, these dots are showing us a calculation. Which calculation are they showing us? Are they showing us 5 add 3, 5 take away 3, 5 add 5 or 5 times 3? Think about what you know the multiply sign means of. 5 3 times, 5 lots of 3. Okay, so there are five in each in one row. One, two, three, four, five. And there are there is one row of five, two rows of five, three rows of five, five lots of three. Five, oh sorry, five three times. Five times three. Five three times. Can you see the calculation that is being shown here? There you go. Five multiplied by three. Well done. Okay, another word problem for us here. Ben has five marbles. Kemi has seven times that number. How many marbles does Kemi have? Let's look at the words in bold. We've got the number word five and we've got seven times or times seven. So the multiply sign is times and we've got seven. 
7 times 5 or 5 times 7. Now I can't count in 7's but I can count in 5's. I'm going to put 7 fingers up and count in 5's. 7 fingers up, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Well done. Fantastic work. Okay, number 29. Do these calculations have the same answer? Write yes or no next to each box. One is done for you. So when we add or multiply, both math signs that look like a cross make a bigger number so you can move the numbers around. So 8 add 2 is 10 and 2 add 8 is 10. Yes. So signs that look like an X, we say in class, X factor anytime, yes, yes, yes. We can move the numbers around. So 8 times 2 and 2 times 8 will have the same answer. So we would put yes there. Now look at subtraction. When we subtract, we start with the biggest number. So 8 take away 2, we can do, that's 6. But if we've got 2, we can't take away 8. So we can't take away from a, a big number from a small number. Now subtract or divide have both got a straight line like a wagging finger and we say in class ah 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 no 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 ah 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 don't think so so you can't do 2 take away 8 so 8 take away 2 and 2 take away 8 would not have the same answer so we would write no in there. Now we've got to put yes or no on every line. Eight divided by 2 and 2 divided by 8 are they the same answer can you share two sweets with eight children no you can't you cannot divide from a, a big number from a smaller number when we divide or subtract we have to start all these sums with the biggest number so ah 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 no 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 ah 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 don't think so 8 divided by 2 is 6 sorry 8 divided by 2 is 4 but we can't do 2 divided by 8, so you would need to write no there. Well done, okay. AJ has 30 pencils. He shares them equally between three pots, and they've got three pots for the there. Complete the number sentence to show how AJ shares the pencils. Now, when we divide, we have to start with the biggest number. The biggest number is 30, So, and we're dividing, we're sharing between three. 30 divided by 3. Now if you know your 3 times tables, you can start with no fingers up and counting 3's until you get to 30. This is also asking you 3 times something is the same as 30. Now if you can't do this in your head, you could draw lines to represent the pencils and share 30 out equally between 3 pots. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and we need to count how many is in one bucket. So let's count the pencils 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 30 divided by 3 is 10. Now that takes a long time so we're going to start learning our 3 times table in class. If I start with no fingers up and counting 3's, 3, 6, 9, 9, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and don't forget 30. The answer is 10. Well done, special agents. Fantastic. Number 7. Sita puts two shoes in each of these boxes. How many shoes are there all together? So you've got to imagine the number 2 on all of these boxes. We are counting in 2s. Let's count in 2s and cross out each box so we remember we've used them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 shoes. Well done. Fantastic work, special agents. Excellent. Well done, special agents. Leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time. Don't share these tips with anyone else. Bye for now.